are off to LA today. I've seen this place in movies. Hi, we're Becca and Joel. We're two actors living in our van, Popple. And today, we get as close to the Hollywood dream as we've ever been. Now I'm ready to be a movie star. Oh, why does it stink in here? How's she doing? It turns out it's really, really, really difficult to have curly hair and be on the road all the time. I'm giving up and I'm straightening it. Time to get my hair ready for this morning. As two country bumpkin Canadians, we were more than a little intimidated by the expectation of physical presentation one must adhere to whilst in LA. So we had to look our best. Easier said than done while you're living in a van. Done. You, you're very dirty. Look at all this crumbs. All the crumbs that you leave on the bed, Joel. Hey! You're a dirty little man! No one tells you when you live in the van, your hygiene is... Although I guess that is kind of expected. Maybe humans wash themselves way too often anyway. Baby wipes, here we come. Oh, I've been using all the baby wipes so bad. I'm getting diaper rashes under my armpits. <laughs> <laughs> we are off to LA today, the city of dreams. Well, our dreams, because we're actors. So we're going to go there and just say someday we are going to be here. Marvel, you could hire me. Oh, what are the best things to do in LA? <laughs> Find um, agents and go and do some <laughs> auditions. We could just sit there and. I think that we should tour like Paramount. Wait, is this a salted lake? Like, I know it's called the Sea of Salted, but I just thought that was people being dramatic. I never tasted the water this morning. I wish you had. What are you doing? I'm gonna go taste the water. You can taste it. Woo! Oh, hoo hoo! Yeah, yeah. So? Definitely salty. So it's actually a sea. They're not just being dramatic down here. It's supposed to rain today and tomorrow. And I just straightened my hair. I thought this would be a cute outfit, but it's cold and raining. So, Ugh, plan B, different option. <laughs> I go to get changed and put on a cute outfit that's nice and warm. I'm wearing these pants. What does he do? He goes and pulls out the exact same pair of pants. And now we're going to be twinning it in LA. That better be a cute couple thing to do. The level of wet on these streets in this air is unfathomable. I did not prepare myself. We don't even have umbrellas. That's how Canadian Calgary we are. It doesn't rain in Calgary. Oh, do we need um, cash? There's an ATM. I don't know. <laughs> We're going the wrong direction. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you navigate. <laughs> that's right, that's why I navigate. I that's navigator. I have no idea where we're how big this place is, or if this is it. Tiny compared to Seattle. Yeah. Are we missing like three quarters of the place? Okay. Start off our lunch with some donuts. Not just any donuts, they're strawberry donuts. How did I go? Well, uh, there's a little bit of a letdown, to be honest. I've been to way cooler downtown markets. It looked like food. There's a market for restaurants. Do you know where we're going? Into Santa Monica, Santa Monica Pier. I was wondering, was when is the Santa Monica going to appear? Okay, my love. We are here. 
Joel and I will often ask ourselves if we would prefer a stable life with a proper 9 to 5 income. These conversations usually happen when we didn't get the show we auditioned for, or we visit our siblings in their newly purchased homes, bounce a nephew or two on our knees, and kiss someone's brand new baby. But honestly, we both will respond with a hell nah. We're not ready to let the dream die just yet. It's really cool being somewhere where you can see, like, I've seen this place in movies. Like this place, the pier. It's strange, cause like, it's a we little Canadian me. I don't get to see these places except if it's in a movie. That's why coming to LA and filling up our dream well with the inspiration from Hollywood itself is such a gift to us. There's a screensaver on the Apple TV that has this place. People call me poor stuff. I'm terrible at lunch. Take one piece of chocolate, you put it in your mouth, and that's pretty much a lesson of that. We are going to a Marvel movie at the drive-in theater. And now uh, you're gonna be on the screen on the other side, so just follow those lights all the way down. Okay. Over that. Have you ever done a drive-in movie? I don't think so. I think I've only seen a lot of movies about drive-in movie theaters. Yeah. Huh? Movie time! Mm -hmm, this is so cozy. <laughs> Okay, baby. Popcorn's ready. Today we are going to tour a real life movie studio. Do you know what this means for somebody who is like wanting to live this world? Well, we've spent just over 24 hours in Los Angeles and I think already my wife is like ready to move here tomorrow and pursue the hustle of an actor. Life in LA. I don't think I'm super convinced yet. Driving a van in Los Angeles is insane. Let's go see a movie studio. I'm so excited. Shit. Where do I go for parking? The closest free street parking that I know of is on Riverside Drive. Okay, so. thank you so much, Rachel. You're welcome. Hey, kid. Don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you can get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test If only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action and with the Get ready to record You take the blue pill, story ends you wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. I have been waiting my whole life for this very moment. Thank you, everyone who made it possible, including all the dogs in the world. <laughs> what about your husband? Um, Aren't you going to thank him? You know what? I just want to be an actor now. Or a director. Or just anything in that world. We should find a grocery store, get some gas, empty our pee bin. There was this part of me that was like, I could take the pee out. And here's the thing, I totally could. It's just, it's quite gross. So is this a little bit of like deep-seated anti-feminism in me? Like a, a root of like, Chauvinism. Done. Are these prices criminal or what? We need to get some wine. This is so good. Groceries done. Gas done. Pee. Done. Pours. <laughs> uh, done.
Next week on Becca and Joel, we take our chances with Vegas. I'm gonna use a slot machine for the very first time. I really think we're gonna win millions. What if I get addicted? And I'm already thinking about like, what we are doing to spend it on. Okay, I'm a little nervous here. You'll be fine. That's easy. You are totally addicted. No, I'm serious. No, you were addicted. It got, it caught you. The bug. The bug of gambling has caught you. If you enjoyed this week's video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe because you won't want to miss what we've got planned for next week.